to students today i am going to teach you what are the steps to download visual studio if you want to develop some application then what are the things you need to download here you can see this is a prompt of visual studio this is the icon of visual studio down you can see i have downloaded git github setup means nowadays earlier in visual studio we were having uh, all the forms and all the java c++ c sharp asp in together in one file but nowadays we have to download four things to uh, four things together and we need to assemble them and then only we will be able to work on it and develop something so this is the icon of visual studio you can see here these are the extensions whatever you are seeing these are the extension QE XML generator is the extension. C C++ is the extension. You can see here it is written that it is already downloaded in my computer. C sharp cloud based IEC and then we have a docker also and then we have a code runner also through which we can run C C++ Java JS PHP Python. We have a docker we have a jupiter which is a notebook for uh, no it is a basically a notebook where we can in, where we can execute python codes or in other codes now we have jupiter cell tax also we have language supported support for java also like uh, earlier we were having java development kit here we have to install an one another extension that is java in de java development kit now we have the maven for java maven what is a maven maven is a again a interactive uh, again a interpreter which is used to manage projects and generate projects from then we have microsoft also uh, then we have python intellisense we have python intellisense through which we can execute any python programming uh, what is the steps to execute any python programming here you can see this is a solution explorer here i have added a folder so my files from the folder is showing here from the desktop here is the search icon here i have the source source code here i am getting the option download git for windows so i have already downloaded then here we have a option for run and debug to customize run and debug create a launch json file so you have to now we have uh, one another option we have a shortcut key control shift and p when we'll click control shift and p then we are getting different option like dotnet project dot net core microsoft A edge python is there java is there node js is there web app is there and web so we'll when we'll open node js so this kind of uh, this is the prompt of Node.js where you have to write the code. So this is the prompt where you have to execute the code, but you have to uh, first of all you need to understand how um, what are the code we have to write in Node.js. So it is part of a Java. This is JSON. JSON is a Java file. So here here you have to write here you can see it is like a C sharp file. The version is 2.0.2.2 configuration is given then type is node request is launch name is launch program skip file here inside this bracket we will write the code now node yes again we'll press control plus shift plus p this is the shortcut key to get all the interpreter compiler or whatever the files are there you can see here we have other files also c c plus plus c sharp we have a debugger also we have a docker also whatever whatever the things are there you have to use control plus shift plus p this is so you can see here we have different shortcut also so if i want to dot net restore project now uh, we have not developed any project so we will be opening like this is ascii qml generator generator xml i have clicked over there see here we have to write the program you can see here in the node js we have to write the program this is extension of c sharp extension of python and now again we'll press control plus shift plus p then again those things will come where we have to execute the program now we'll we will add something like suppose i want c c plus plus 
add debug configuration i have clicked over here it is not that much easy that you will click and you will get everything sometimes you have to execute you have to run some extensions also you have to uh, install some library files also here you can say you do not have intellisense configured unless you set your own configuration intellisense may not be functional so here i have to select select intellisense intellisense is also very important feature of c and c++ nowadays it is a new version so i want to use c c++ extension so i have to use intellisense configuration select another compiler on your machine i have to select this as i have selected i have to wait for some time then i have to click on i'll get the option which i have to launch i i have clicked on launch and i got the option here you can see i am getting the terminal of c c++ and this is the debug console where we, i will write the code and this is the output screen which will so display me the output you i please start a debug session to evaluate the expression this is something different whatever we are doing using the turbo c and c++ we have to write launch a program see no when i'll click on launch a program then here i'm getting the option node js python is also there add configuration is also there i have clicked on python file desktop so again i'll click control shift and p when i'll click control shift and p i let me see about the other option what are the other options are there we have the option of cloud also here cloud changes resume cloud option also these days cloud is connected with every other so students i will make you understand about how to create different pages in pi and this visual studio till then thank you very much have a nice day